You guys are amazing, by the way. Thank you so much. I love you so very much from the bottom of my heart. My name is Lindy Lee. I'm an immigrant and I'm a woman. And in a society that tells me that my dreams are too grand and my expectations too unrealistic, I have come to embrace who I am. Only, only in America can the granddaughter of literate rice farmers stand before you today. My heart overflows with gratitude towards you and our amazing country, which gave my family a future that was beyond the grasp of imagination. I am infinitely proud to be American. I know no other identity and I know no other home. English is my family's second language. My beloved brother Jeffrey, who's here today, and I would tell you that there is immense beauty in the English that Mama and Baba speak. Their accent tells the listener that their footsteps and life experiences have graced many a land. When I gave up my job to enter public service, I didn't know what I was doing. People asked if I had a blueprint or a committee of supporters, but there was no infrastructure or party backing. I only had a dream, as foolhardy as that dream may seem. I had no political connections, no one knew my name. In fact, no one cared to know. All I had was a glistening vision of American opportunity. Trolls on the internet and threats hounded me. The attacks and hurt I experienced were overwhelming. There was one evening when the pounding of my own heart yanked me awake. But I kept chugging along, knocking on doors, crisscrossing Pennsylvania, attending meetings where people looked at me suspiciously, all leading me to you today. That I, that I went from nothing to being able to stand before you now is the essence of the American dream, something that I will fight to keep alive for you and your loved ones, your race, your gender, zip code. They should not determine your destiny. Hard work, education, and sacrifice should give you the wings to fly. Our role today is fraught with heartbreak. I have been searching all my life for a way to heal and learn that all it took was an act of love. We think that by holding on to resentment that we can make our enemies suffer, but what our rage blinds us from seeing is, a, is that the ones that we hurt the most are ourselves. Forgiveness is a mighty force. A Sandy Hook mother forgiving the killer of her child. The, family of, the families of the Charleston Nine forgiving the man who took their loved one's lives. We think that forgiveness is fragility, but it actually demands unthinkable strength. <laughs> Mama used to tell me that there's beauty in sadness. Indeed, we need adversity and pain in order to grow. As Abigail Adams once said, it is not in the still calm of life that great characters are formed. I want to thank you all for giving me strength. You deserve the very best from me and your public servants, leaders who strive with every ounce of their being to clean up your air and water, purge our schools and churches of the wretched scourge of gun violence, Beam sunshine into the corridors of power so that corruption comes crawling out of its den. I realize that the way to remain above the fray is to surround oneself with good people with integrity and character, people with love in their hearts, people like all of you today. This is our shared odyssey. So, Dare with abandon, hop on that train, and go find that person or that dream. Dreams take work, and love takes work, and true love is too precious to relinquish. What would you do if you weren't afraid? I would be standing before you today. Thank you so much. I love you deeply.